when a long road trip which covers almost both north and south of Morocco takes a toll on your body what does a person do in Morocco well we head for Hammam and uh, there is no better Hammam like Morocco is famous for its Hammams all over the country be it Marrakesh be it Fez uh, Mule Yaqub in Fez but uh, one of the best settings to have a, a relaxing hammam a Moroccan hammam which is uh, very different from a Turkish hammam is right here next to the mosque Hassan II and the USP of this uh, hammam is obviously the mosque and what better way to enjoy a Moroccan hammam right next to the Atlantic Ocean and we got a group of tourists here Let's check out Hammam. So yes, as you can see, uh, that's the actual view from inside, but uh, since we are not allowed to film, you have to take prior permission from the administration before you make any videos here. This is the reception area, and uh, uh, this, these are the prices, the price, uh, I want to show the prices. And these are the prices. So the package that I have taken is for approximately forty dollars, which includes uh, uh, your. Uh, they give you everything. They give you soap. They give you towels. They give you. It's just done with the hammam. Apparently, you can't uh, film inside the area where there is uh, the warm temperature and where they give you the massage. But yeah, all done. This is the locker room. This is your. Uh, it's okay, I finish. Just finish. finish. Again, he's uh, warning me not to film inside. Coming out of the hammam and bye bye to Hammam Waski Hassan II. See you in the reception. Yes, heading out of Moski. Moski is in French. Mosque Hassan II. And that's the exit area of uh, the hammam and as uh, before I was not able to film inside because uh, it causes inconvenience to the clients inside probably and there were a couple of clients if you want to experience hammam Moroccan hammam in such a beautiful setting like within the premises of uh, the mosque Hassan II just look at beautiful uh, there's a bit of trivia about this mosque as well a couple of years back when uh, there was a voting for the seven wonders of the world including our Taj Mahal even this uh, mosque was like being voted a lot of Moroccans voted for the mosque Hassan II to be included in the seven wonders of the world and why seven wonders of the world because uh, I'll just show you why. So isn't it obvious why this mosque is uh, considered to be one of the potential seven wonders of the world because it's, I don't know, three-fourths I think approximately built on top of the Atlantic Ocean and the architecture is stupendous. It's like uh, very similar to Alhambra in Granada, Spain. It's all Moorish uh, architecture and the hammam inside, even that has a lot of uh, Moorish influence to it. It's a pity that I could not film inside but uh, anyways you get the picture. Time to sign off from Oski Hassan II and 
uh, I already feel very relaxed. It was such a tiring uh, journey, that road trip, all the hiking, all the treks. Bye bye to Moski Asan Second and the beautiful Moroccan Hammam.